Damn, son, where'd you find this? I've got something to say. Babe, you've got to take it and leave it. It's not your fault. It's just the way you are. Right now, tell me what is wrong. Cause I'm no longer having fun of it all. I'm done. Life goes on. I just gotta do my thing. Get some fresh air in my arms. I just gotta take a beat. And shake it off. So powerful. You're listening to Caroline Rose live on KEXP. Songs from the new album, The Art of Forgetting.
You're listening to songs from the Art of Forgetting from the new album by Caroline Rose here in our KEXP studios.
pretend You're listening to Caroline Rose live here in the KEXP studios. That was Everywhere I Go, I Bring the Rain, one of my faves from the new album, The Art of Forgetting. And I love all the vocals on that track. A big shout out to Glenn, Lena, Mike, and Riley. That sounds great having all five of you sing on that.
Caroline Rose live on KEXP, that song Miami from the beautiful new album, The Art of Forgetting. And I have been listening to this record over and over for the last month, and it's just extraordinary to hear these songs performed live today. Thank you so much for sharing this music. I can tell and see how much you're putting into it and how much it also takes from you. So we really appreciate you being here today. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> you Okay. Uh, sometimes that one really gets me. It is. It gets me, too. And you lived it. So I can only imagine. Well, I wasn't going to jump right in here, but I just like, no, I'm not going to come there. But the title is is um, very striking and it can have, you know, multiple meanings. And you're just belting it out over and over in that song and just talking about love. And can you talk a little bit about the title and what it means to you? Yeah, let me just compose myself. A okay. Bit. Um, yeah, the, um, the title, well, the title comes from that song and it's a line in the, in the song Miami. Um, and it was one of the earlier songs that I wrote. And at the time I, I was, I just had a lot of like resentment and anger and, um, it was sort of a, it felt more like. Uh, resignation I guess and the more I wrote uh, for the album I think the more I was kind of healing in a way and by the end of it it felt more like a like a healthy letting go like the um, kind of taking the idea of to forget something not necessarily as a bad thing it's just you know you let it go you know, Caroline Rose fans don't live anywhere in the middle. They love you. And I first discovered you many, many years ago through fans of your 
records and your live shows, people saying you have to listen to this, you have to get out. I have a friend who is a long time music industry person who just saw your show in Denver, said it was the best show they ever saw in their Mm -hmm. life. Um, You really have that way of connecting with your audience. I know that this record very, very much does. I know it took a lot out of you. And your last album, Superstar, came out in March of 2020, which (laughs) basically meant there was no touring following that release and all the love and passion and time and energy and money that you put into it just kind of came crashing down. And it sounds like, you you know, you were going through some very um, personal things in your life that were challenging, but it also seemed like a time following that that you discovered, rediscovered how much you loved and found joy in music and that you hadn't really set out to write a record. You were just playing for the personal joy of it. Can you talk a little bit about that time? Yeah, and I, I can also say that this is a record that I, I really just wanted to make it for me it's just like my personal story of this time and I, th- I think when I was when I was first writing the material I had no motivation because I mean I, I, I no motivation to do anything with it and I think that's I mean I think that's part of why I think it's a good album is it's very like pure in that way the songs just kind of um, well, most of them kind of arrived and a lot of material never made it (laughs) never made it on the album but it it was just a very pure time of just reconnecting emotionally with the guitar and I hadn't really just sat around and noodled on the guitar in so long and I just kind of fell in love with it all over again like when I was a teenager you know yeah, what did that feel like not to have anybody giving you any input or any deadlines? Good. Feel good. <laughs> no suits were involved in the making of this album. Well, when did you decide that it was going to turn into something that was purely for you, into something you felt like you wanted to share? Um, well, I don't know. I mean, I, I kind of flirt all the time with just wanting to quit this. It's like such a crazy lifestyle. Um there's other things that I want to do with my life, you know? And I didn't uh, even really know if I wanted to keep doing music, but I felt like I had one. (laughs) I was like, I think I got one record left in me. Um, Who knows if, who knows how I'll feel if I, you know, after this album cycle is done, I don't know what I'm going to do. But um, yeah, I don't know. It just, I guess at a certain point, it felt too good not to share. And every other day I, I, I kind of flip back and forth between feeling like I've made a grave mistake <laughs> putting it out. But oh, cause it really, it's like very taxing. Well, certainly to perform it, which, yeah. which we're witnessing here. And we're sorry to make you <laughs> talk about it right now. I do want to just ask you about those beautiful little interstitials from your grandmother in oh, there. Yeah. They're so beautiful. Thank you. Tell me about including those in the record and where they came from. Well, I'd always wanted to do this project because my grandma would always call me and we we spoke a lot. I mean, we speak, well, she actually has since passed away. So those have kind of become these like little, um, these little, I don't know, they're, they're just extra special now, I guess. But um, I'd always wanted to do this project with her voicemails. She would send me, you know, I had all these voicemails from her. And it would always be a really similar message, but you could always hear like how she was feeling that day because sometimes her voice would be really dejected. And, uh, and then over time, so I have a year's worth of voicemails from my grandma and I was just going to do it as like a personal project to see, you know, how it sounded over time, like how her voice changed and she was losing her memory and, you know, dying. Um, and then this theme of memory just kept resurfacing in the album again and again and, and so it kind of had this like like dual purpose one was this it sort of pinch me moment of you know cuz most of the record takes place in my head and i'm so hurt and in a lot of pain and my grandma would call me every day and um and it was just sort of this like a wake up <laughs> someone cares about you kind of moment like so it offers brevity in a otherwise really heavy album um but also i thought it was interesting that she's losing her memory and um all i wanted to do at that time was just forget all the painful memories and 
all she wanted to do is remember everything. Um, I just thought it was interesting. Uh, mm-hmm. So bittersweet. Well, it's beautiful on there. And thank you for being so vulnerable in the gift of this beautiful album. I can see how much it takes out of you. And I appreciate that you have shared these songs with us today. And I know that people seeing them out on tour, as I said, my friends had the best show <laughs> she ever saw. So mm-hmm. highly, very sweet. highly recommend people get out and see Caroline Rose on this tour. The beautiful album, The Art of Forgetting, out on New West Records. Again, thank you to all of you. You sound wonderful together. Thank you. Thank you so much to all of our wonderful viewers for making amazing sessions like this possible. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel, get notification every time a new video launches, and new, and learn more about us at kexp.org. Thank you again. Once more, it's Caroline Rose live on KEXP Seattle. Discover new music at listener-powered kexp.org. Damn, son, where'd you find this?